Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my model casting look, my makeup that I do for model castings. Now, I've found that there are two different kinds of looks that you could possibly go for. The first being what I was doing while I was in Atlanta, Dallas, and even for Chicago. Um, when I went to castings in Atlanta, they wanted full pageant glam, as in eyelashes, contour, full foundation, um, hair curled and big just like pageants. I'm going to show you today more of an everyday if you were to go on a model casting that's not a mart like what I was doing, which is very bare, almost bare faced, um, as well as hair pulled back in a ponytail, hair off your face so they can see your structure of your bones and your face, how it naturally would be. This is also my everyday makeup look as well, so this also doubles as something really quick and easy to do in the morning, but it just kind of enhances your good features while hiding some of the features that you don't really want to showcase. Before we get started, make sure that you guys go ahead and follow my Instagram at unbroken underscore babe. I've been posting a lot more on there recently. I've just been in a picture mood and I've been finding so many good opportunities to take pictures. So please go check it out as well as my Healthy Eats page, which is at Sarah's Healthy Eats as well on Instagram. And make sure to click the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's get right into it. Let's start off with the face. First, my golden treasure, which is concealer. Um, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Better Skin. I have absolutely fallen in love with this. This I found at Walgreens. However, however, I went the other day to go get more and I didn't see them anywhere in Walgreens and I really hope they didn't stop carrying it because I would be so sad. I got my trusty mirror from my Think Happy palette that I use literally all the time. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is just put a couple dots of concealer right under my eye. Now this is minimal, minimal, just enough to cover um, the dark circles right in this immediate area right here. That's all you need. And then I'm going to cover up any acne. Um, as you can see, like I said, I'm breaking out a little bit down here and I got one up here. So I'm gonna take my concealer and just kind of dot those spaces. Let's blend this out. I use my finger. I know that a lot of the times when you're getting called for a model casting or even just getting up in the morning, you don't wanna go wet a beauty blender. You don't wanna to have to search through all your brushes. So we're just gonna blend this out right in this area. This is just to cover up, do you see how much that helped already? Just to cover up the darkness. I'm not gonna go all the way out like I normally would. I normally would put concealer all over this area, but for an everyday look or for a quick modeling casting, you want them to be able to see mostly your skin. My ring light just went out, so thank goodness we have natural light. Looks like that's what we're going to be using today. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. As you can see, my face, it still looks like my face which is really nice. Next, I'm going to set it with some powder. I have my Cody Airspun and I actually tend to leave this open, like just like this sitting on my desk because I really don't wanna to have to open it and keep pouring it out because this stuff gets everywhere. It really does. So I'm gonna use my JS2 brush and we're just gonna take a very small amount of that powder and go under the eyes. We don't wanna cake it up. Just a little bit of powder. We're gonna do the same on the other side and then we're gonna set, we're gonna set those spots on my face as well. Ta-da! We're looking fresh faced. And just to let you know, I know I'm explaining things, but this normally takes me actually five minutes in the morning. Like I wake up five minutes before I'm supposed to leave, grab my lunch and run out the door. Like that is how quick that this goes. 
Next, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's Brow Brush, which is the JS7. I'm going to darken my brows just a little bit. I am going to take my Think Happy palette, once again, love this palette, and I'm gonna take this shade right down here. I know it's like a purple, but on the brows, when you blend it out, it looks more like a dark brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just fill the ends in really a little bit. I don't use any brow gel or any brow product except eyeshadow on my brows, ever. Um, I just find that it makes them look really natural, which is the goal. Okay, so now that I have filled them in a little bit, I'm just gonna go back in with the brush. And just brush them through. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. I normally use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I love it with all of my heart and soul, but it's a little too voluminous. I go in with this mascara. This is from Doucet. I'm not 100% sure what that brand is, but it looks like this and it's the Max Lash Volumize Mascara. This is what the brush looks like. It makes your lashes really long, but it doesn't give them volume, which to me is a good thing because then it makes my lashes look more naturally long, but it doesn't look like I have mascara on, which is kind of the goal. So I'm gonna go in with this. They are the top at least and I am gonna do bottom lashes as well done and as you can see that's very natural this is what it looks like up close it literally just looks like my lashes just longer very natural looking one of my favorite mascaras ever and I will continue to use it every day so the only last couple of things that I have, a couple literally as in two, is I'm going to take one of my brushes that I don't know what it is. So this brush looks like a concealer brush, um, but I do use it for highlight. Now all I wanna do is I'm gonna take this shade right here from the Think Happy palette and I'm just going to highlight right here, slightly, slightly, and then the inner corner, and do that on both sides. Because this just opens up the eye and makes it look just a little more awake. And if this is too much for you, then don't do it. Or if you want, you could go in with your finger and just dull it down a little bit and make it a little bit more natural as well. Then I'm going to take that shade as well and just highlight the end of my nose and maybe just a dash on the cheek. And that's all. Just a little something to make you look a little bit more awake. Last thing I do, I'm going to take some my infallible gloss and this is going on my lips to make me look hydrated or you could just use some chapstick or you can use a clear gloss whatever but this is the one I use and this would normally be paired with a ponytail so I would never wear a scrunchie to a model casting obviously I would put it in either a blonde hair tie or a black hair tie um, but this is what we're looking at as you can see it's very natural but it still looks like my skin and obviously <laughs> will not be wearing my PJs but you get the gist 
Okay, so that was the end of my quick and easy model casting look. Thank you guys for being here. I will talk to you guys next time. Make sure to follow my Instagram at unbroken underscore babe. And make sure to please like this video. And if you would love to, please give me a comment below as well. Alrighty, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.